come closer let me tell you something there is no reward for suffering in life no one is going to compensate you for how much you have suffered if you have an opportunity to make things easier for yourself in life take it as long as you're not breaking the law and you're not hurting other people take it in this video i am going to be teaching you how to become the most magnetic delicious irresistible and attracting version of yourself i want you to become so magnetic that you become that girl that gets things handed to them have you ever come across those people who just seem to get everything so easy in life it's like things just get handed to them they get the opportunities they get the promotion they get the friends they get the partner and then there's you you've been trying put in so much effort and nothing just seems to work if you really look at the people who have to put in so much effort in life they get so used to that and they take so much pride in the fact that they've had to work so hard for the things that they have to the point where that becomes their reality they just have to continue putting in all this effort the truth of the matter is being magnetic is actually a side effect of the way you feel about yourself it's a side effect of your self-concept and your self-perception if you perceive yourself to be unworthy of things honey you're going to be unworthy if right now you were to enter a room and everyone starts staring at you are you gonna be the girl who instantly assumes oh my god like why are they looking at me like gosh are they seeing how weird i look today gosh i, sh I shouldn't have had my shoulders out let me like shrink and go into the corner like just get out of this are you gonna be the girl who just assumes okay mm everyone seems to be looking at me i must be looking <laughs> really good today for me to get all these looks i looked at myself in the mirror today ah uh, yeah they're definitely seeing the lord's work they are seeing the lord's work depending on the reaction you have when people are staring at you that kind of shows you how you feel about yourself yes there are people who are just born like that they're just like naturally charming but every single thing in life is a skill being attractive is one part of the puzzle and i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you that people don't care about being attractive of course they do unfortunately we live in a world that is heavily superficial the world is going to be kinder to you of course if you're attractive however if being attractive is all you have it gets old very quickly my definition of being magnetic is having the ability to effortlessly attract the right people to you the key words here is effortlessly and the right people think of an actual magnet a magnet is literally just a magnet and by the definition of it being a magnet it effortlessly attracts metals and other things to it it doesn't have to try so hard a magnet also repels things there's something called the law of polarity and the law of polarity basically states that every single thing in life has both negative and a positive side to it i don't care how magnetic you are you will never have every single person like you there's people that are just gonna hate you because you're so magnetic and it irritates them you are not going to attract every single person the more magnetic you become the more repellent you will be to the people and the opportunities that are not right for you because if you're attracting every single person to you first of all that's impossible and secondly if in any way you're able to do it that means the person that's not getting pleased is you get to know yourself so well that you own and embrace every single part of you and the parts of you that you love be so proud of them and then the things that you don't really care for about yourself because let's be honest we don't all like everything about ourselves approach a state of neutrality when it comes to those things when i say a state of neutrality i mean just accept them when i look at my body there's certain things that i look at and i'm like it would be nicer if i had a smaller waist it would be nicer if my boobs were a bit more perky and if they you know like sat right and i'm not gonna sit there judging myself or looking at the things that i don't like about my body and focusing on that because how is that gonna change okay i have an east african forehead i mean the wig is a bit um to the front now so it's covering it a bit but i have a big forehead and that's just the way it is i accept it and now if anyone was to come to me telling me oh my god you have a big forehead i'm like okay and it would be nice if it was different but if i'm not in a position to do anything about it i'm not gonna do anything about it and it is what it is being able to authentically express yourself is so magnetic because most people are not authentic most people move around life doing what they think they should do what their parents told them to do there's very few people that genuinely go through life being authentic when someone notices that you authentically express yourself and you're just authentically you i'm gonna take up space and i'm not going to apologize for it it is so attractive because it makes them feel like being close to you is going to inspire them to also be authentic even before someone speaks you can kind of tell what their vibe is like there's people that you just meet and you're like i don't know what it is i just 
something something about this person just makes me uneasy people can read your energy so if you're faking people can tell i want you to be so in touch with yourself and your aura and your authenticity that you own it it makes people just want to be around you there's something so beautiful that happens when you focus on creating a life that you actually love being part of most people really don't like the lives they're living and that's why everyone is going above and beyond to get accepted by a group of friends or a boyfriend or a girlfriend like every single person is just trying so hard to get accepted and validated by certain people and they assume that if maybe they can just get accepted by that group of friends then maybe they're gonna be popular then maybe they're gonna have the money but when you focus on creating a life you really enjoy being part of people see wow she really seems excited in her life she has all these things going for her i want to be part of that so now things switch from you trying to belong with this group of people to them coming to you because they can see how beautiful your life seems and they want to be part of that you're not desperate for anyone have you ever noticed when you're not desperate for things that's when they come desperate and needy energy is not magnetic it's so unattractive when you're being desperate for people and desperation comes from lack when your life is full you enjoy living your life you're in a state of abundance you're so abundant in yourself and in your energy the aura that you radiate is just so exciting just like everyone just wants to be part of that get a hobby that you enjoy follow your passions and really focus on doing something that ignites your soul if you've set goals i have i have my vision board over here and i'm currently working on one of my goals just to get to 100 000 subscribers if you don't mind by the way subscribe focus on creating a life that you genuinely enjoy being part of you're not going to want to escape that so there you are sat in your throne having to do nothing and people are just coming to you i need you to stop speaking negatively about yourself one time I had a friend who every single time i'd get into a conversation with her she was always saying all these negative things about herself boys don't like me i don't really know i feel so unattractive i feel fat i feel like i've gained so much weight and i don't know what to do about it blah 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 every single conversation i was having with her was about her degrading herself i don't care how good of a person you are if you're looking at yourself and you hate every single thing about yourself why the hell would you think that people would want to be part of that no one wants to be around that it is so unattractive of course you're not going to like everything about yourself but as i said the things that you don't like about yourself simply accept them acceptance is actually quite high on the vibration chart than shame shame is like shame is like the bottom of the barrel people who speak negatively about themselves either you're fishing for compliments or you just genuinely don't rate yourself and who wants to be around that no one wants to be around someone that you have to constantly keep telling no babe you're you're beautiful no babe you look okay no babe it gets to a point i'm like you know what maybe you are maybe you are all these negative things that you say because you're the only person who knows yourself as much as possible i don't really know you that well and the cognitive dissonance in my head is saying if you're saying all these negative things about yourself and maybe i'm not able to see them that means there's probably a part of you that really knows what you're talking about so let me actually believe you and and, and let you be but if that is your entire fucking personality i need you to completely cut that out. Once you start rating yourself, people around you will conform. Become a good conversationalist. People love to talk about themselves. If I get into a conversation with you and you put your phone away, you know, just look at me and really pay attention, it makes me feel like you're actually listening to me. It really makes me feel heard. Part of being magnetic is making people feel good when they're around you. Everyone wants to feel important in one way or another. When you drop whatever it is that you're doing and actively pay attention to the person that is speaking, be genuinely interested in the topics that they're talking about even if the topics that they're talking about are not what you typically are interested in i don't really know much about cars and i don't really know what much to say about cars but if you're so enthusiastic about this this is something you're really passionate about i'm gonna sit here and listen to you okay so the engine of the car is really making you this giddy okay i hear you i i'm paying attention i'm gonna sit here and paraphrase the things that you're saying and ask questions and genuinely be interested nod my head as you're speaking and smile so that you can feel that i'm really engaging with the conversation i want you to feel how important your interests are to me find a way to make people feel important when they're in your presence make them feel good about themselves bonus tip go and research the topics that they find enjoyable so that you can properly have an almost equal exchange never ever in your life put yourself beneath 
anybody. Never pedestalize anything or anyone. When you put things on a pedestal, you're essentially communicating to the universe that you assume this thing is bigger than you and it's much better than you. And oh my God, if it comes into your life, it's just gonna change everything. And oh my God girl even the goals that you have that you think they'll come into your life and finally everything will be perfect it's not going to be like that because new opportunities and new friends comes with new problems nothing is going to holistically solve every single thing in your life so you don't have to pedestalize anything or anyone when you put people on a pedestal or when you put opportunities on a pedestal you get so desperate and that desperate and needy aura it's repelling it's repelling to be around someone that is just so desperate to have you around like oh my god God, if you leave me, I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna leave you. Let's see if you're gonna die because what? Calm down. I don't care how much you idolize them in your head. Be calm and collected about it. You can genuinely appreciate people without coming across as putting yourself beneath them. Oh my God, I'm so grateful for this opportunity. I really don't know what I would have done. You've literally saved me. Oh my God, thank you so much. I'm just, I really don't know what I would have done. This is such a grand opportunity. Oh my God, it means the world to me. Thank you for the enthusiasm. I get it. But you could literally just sit up, hold your head high and say, I'm really grateful for this opportunity. It means a lot to me. Thank you. You're calm, you're collected. You're not perceiving yourself to be beneath this person. When Doja Cat said, I would never put myself beneath one of my idols. Yeah. I need you to pay attention to that. You can have, be or do anything in this life. We can all talk about setting boundaries and blah, blah, blah. A huge part about setting boundaries that people don't really talk about is sometimes it's easier to honor your boundaries when you're dealing with certain people and it's harder to honor your boundaries when you're dealing with certain people. It's easy to honor your boundaries when you're dealing with someone that you don't care if they're in your life or not, like you feel very neutral about them. When you really, really, really want something or you really, really want someone maybe you got a job that you desperately wanted someone that you were really crushing on so hard finally likes you when those situations or people that you really really hold in high regards start disrespecting you that is when setting boundaries becomes very difficult but part of being magnetic is realizing as i have said in the previous point that no one is above you anyone who continues doing something that you have already communicated makes you uncomfortable they are making a choice and now you need to make your own because when people continue crossing your boundaries that shows a lack of respect for you and if you allow for those people to continue crossing your boundaries now that shows a lack of respect for yourself so setting boundaries and honoring them regardless of who you're dealing with is so magnetic because people see you and they're like yeah or when, when, when you when you get into her life there's no room to mess up and people treat you with respect it shows a lack of desperation it shows that you're so grounded in who you are you don't give a fuck who you have to cut off maybe you got your dream job and then you find they're not treating you well okay you can go and get another job be so ready to leave situations that show you a lack of respect I have a sense of mystery to you i moved to the uk like almost seven years ago and the first time i came here one of the things that really shocked me is how quickly people will reveal everything about themselves the first time i meet them there's one time i had gone shopping and i was on the queue and this lady starts telling me about all her problems she tells me about how she got divorced and now you know her son has gone into depression and and I'm like, woman, I don't even know you. Why Why do you feel so comfortable telling me all these things about yourself? The I, I don't even know your name. And now I know that you're divorced. I know that you have two kids. You have a daughter and a son. Your son is depressed. Your daughter dropped out. Why, why are you telling me all these things? You need to employ a level of mystery to you. When people can't seem to really figure you out, you become instantly so magnetic. If from the first conversation, I get to know every single thing about you, then there's nothing for me to explain explore. Never ever reveal every single thing about yourself the first time you meet someone. In the beginning when you're getting to know someone, being mysterious is very alluring. It's very magnetic. That dynamic of course changes the more you get to know someone. So reveal things about yourself, you know, slowly by slowly. Like have an it is what it is mindset. The people who seem to have such a pessimistic view on life and when you're so pessimistic about everything, no one wants to be around that because life is hard. Like we all know that 
that life is hard regardless of what you have life is hard for every single person be the person that makes life easier for other people no one wants to hear about how hard life is every single time like we already know that there's times that things happen and you, you've tried your best to deal with it you've tried your best to control the situation and nothing is happening just be like you know what it is what it is i'm actually not gonna die like <laughs> it is what it is and move on because there's certain situations in life that really will sort themselves out so be the kind of person that makes people feel like you know what life is actually okay like it's calm yeah yeah i know that everything is falling apart right now but i know it's gonna get better because nothing is permanent in this life i don't care how much you're struggling it's not going to be like that forever because life is like this so whenever things don't go your way understand it's just a season and it's gonna end and then you're gonna be up again and then you're gonna be down again that's just the way it is when you adopt and it is what it is mindset you become so detached from the catastrophes of life and you're able to just cruise so easily and once you start living like that positive things start coming your way and people want to be around an energy that feels easy and light simplify things for yourself and simplify life for other people you need to look like somebody who loves themselves and what does somebody who looks like they love themselves actually look like they're clean they're hygienic they smell good can you imagine me coming to sit next to you and i'm so pretty and i look so good and then i come sit next to you and instantly you go like this take a good shower scrub those pits and wear deodorant okay especially right now in summer this is not the time for you to be experimenting with your aluminium free deodorants baby girl i know that you want to protect your armpits but the rest of us are suffering you don't have to be wearing the most glamorous outfit of everyone but wear something that makes you feel good because when you look good you feel good just look put together get yourself a nice bag from teddy blake they were so kind to send this bag to me if this is the first time you're hearing about teddy blake first of all you're late to the party but you're always welcome teddy blake is an affordable luxury brand and you get the quality of designer bags at a fraction of the price babe this bag is so stunning to me i just feel like it's the perfect bag it's the perfect size it's not too big it's not too small so you can actually fit a lot of things inside the bag all teddy blake bags are made with premium italian leather there's so many other styles if you're looking at this one and maybe you like the bag but you want it in a different color so many different colors to choose from and so many other different styles to choose from too and this bag also comes with a strap so you can wear it as a crossbody bag or you can wear it as a handbag and you know just like be like this and just be elegant you know when you look good you feel good and now that you're stepping into your magnetic era get yourself a nice bag from teddy blake look healthy for your body type because every single one of us has a different body type there's people that will eat and eat and eat all the freaking junk in the world and they'll still and they'll still look skinny and then there's people who will simply inhale the smell of chocolate and boom 20 kgs up but whatever you perceive to look healthy for your body type is where you should be take care of your diet exercise and move your body it's attractive when you can instantly tell that this person is disciplined because look at the way they look i need you to hone into your unfair advantages whether it's the fact that you're smarter than most people around you or emotionally intelligent or that you came from money or that you've made a lot of money for yourself or that you have a really nice body or that you have really good genetic your hair is just really beautiful and luscious there is something about you that somebody else looks like and wishes they had it and maximize them i'm not saying let that become your entire personality and there's nothing else to you no the things about you that give you an edge above other people you need to tap into those things because baby girl there are people that are tapping into the fact that they are just naturally attractive and they're making hell of money from that they're making hella friends from that and then there you are denying yourself a better life because you don't want to tap into the things that naturally come to you somebody else's i've had so much fun filming this video let me know if you guys want more videos like this being magnetic is one of the best places you can start in terms of shifting your life shifting your reality becoming a magnetic person is going to holistically change your life this is a really vast topic and we can talk about this all day but the tips that i have given you are a good place to start don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next one bye